Hey guys, you're Rex, and welcome back to another MindFlare tutorial video. In this video, I'm going to show you guys how to go from the script that we left off last episode with to a new script that gives us a bit more information in regards to the actual connection being formed between the bot and the server it's connecting to. Looking at some brief changes before we go into the new content, I've simply gone ahead and separated out to the arguments that we are passing into the dot create bot function into their own variable. This allows us to better set common variables, which will allow us to more easily separate the variables from each individual bot themselves in the future when we plan on scaling up our scripts to hosting multiple bots at once. Moving on from that, in this episode, we're going to start exploring and utilizing MindFlare's built-in events. To call an event, you're going to start by typing bot.on or .once. Now the difference here is very simple. .once will only ever be triggered once and dot on will be triggered every single time that event is triggered. Now the events takes in two arguments. That first argument is going to be a string, which is going to be the type of event that is to be triggered. In this example, we're going to be using the on login event. And then the second argument is what to do when that event is actually called. In our case, we're going to start by creating a function like so. And then we're going to set this new variable called the bot socket. Now the use of this variable is to better hold our socket information in regards to the bot. This is found under bot.underscoreclient.socket. And next up, we're gonna write this complicated console.log in order to print into our terminal information whenever our bot logs in. To review, this is a ternary statement that is outputting a variable, which is to be placed within this string. What this statement does is it checks if there is a server within the socket, and if so, then it will output the server. If this is not the case, then it will instead output the host. This is important because it differentiates between when we connect to an actual live multiplayer server and a local one. When connecting to a live server, it will display the server. When connecting to a local server, it will display the underscore host variable, which generally displays local host. And that's it for that event. So now we're going to move on to the second event that we're adding to the script in this episode. Once again, we're going to start by creating our base template for adding an event. And our specific event of choice is going to be the end event. The end event is what's triggered whenever the bot disconnects from whatever server it's connected to. And following that very similarly, we're going to create a function. And within that function, we're going to create a very simple console.log line, which simply states that the bot has disconnected from the server. I will now demonstrate how this bot works and I will note the differences between this script and the script that we left off last episode with. Once again, to do that, we're gonna type in node space and then the file name. In this case, that's gonna be connect-bot.js. Before we do that though, remember that we do have to put in our new port number. To do that, we're gonna to have to open up our Minecraft client and start a LAN world. As you can see, I've started up a Minecraft client in a single player world. As a refresher, I will once again be showing you guys how to start up your local server. Note that I will not be doing this in future episodes. To begin, you're going to press escape. You're going to click on open to LAN. You're going to allow cheats and you're going to press start LAN world. Once you've done this, you're going to see a message in chat with a port number. We're going to go back into our code and we're going to change the port number under bot arguments to the port that you see in our client. In this case, it's going to be 58233. And briefly, before we run the script, remember to always save your files after importing the new port number. Once we've done this, we can go ahead and run the command that we've previously typed into the terminal. As you can see, our bot once again successfully logged in. And now in the terminal, you can see feedback saying that it did log in and that it logged into localhost. That means that the login event successfully triggered within our script. Now, in order to trigger the end event, what we're going to do is go ahead and close our server. Now, the easiest way to do this is to simply disconnect from your world. Now that we've disconnected from the server, you can see that in our terminal, it has indicated that it has disconnected from the server. I would like to remind you guys that in the description of all of these videos, you will be able to find a GitHub link for that specific episode's code. And if you found this video helpful at all, you should leave a like. And if you're planning on using future episodes, you should go ahead and subscribe. Cheers and I hope you have a great day.